Well, you guys got another video here for you on your computer has been blocked. This one is Windows Defender Alert and it's talking about the Zeus virus. Microsoft will never ever contact you in this way. They would never ever block your PC like this. It's just a scam and they're very easy to close. Uh, all you need to do here in this case is just shut the process down and it's pretty straightforward. Sometimes they make it a bit more tricky to open up the task manager. Sometimes you'll get re a repeating closing of that and it's just a basic way of them to get you to call them. Never ever call them, just report them to this website. I'll leave the link in the video description. It's a Microsoft website where you can put all the details of uh, the event, what happened, and then Microsoft can get them removed off the internet. It's very simple and easy to do for them to do it. And it's important that we follow this because obviously it stops other people falling foul to them. Now it is a bit of a cat and mouse game and they will constantly put new ones up, but you have to take them down. Now, another thing you want to do is reset your browser, just like I'm doing here. This is just to make sure you've got no remnants left inside your browser. You can clean off your browser uh, cache as well by using whatever method you like, like CCleaner or maybe use uh, the built-in Windows uh, tool as well to clean off all that rubbish that's left behind. And uh, you can just reset your uh, browser here. Now, if you want to reset um, Edge, if you use Edge, uh, then I'll show you how to quickly do that. Now, you have to sort of understand, you have to re-educate yourself on how this is happening to you. And it's because of what you're doing, the nature of uh, what you're doing on your computer and what you're clicking on. So what we'll do here is quickly reset uh, the Edge browser here. And you can do this with all browsers, including Firefox and other types of browsers. It's very easy to do. So it's best just to reset these, just to make sure there's nothing left here. So I'm gonna quickly come down and click on reset. Now by resetting this, you will lose all your browser history and a bunch of other things that are attached to the browser. Uh, but it is important to reset this just in case they've added stuff into the browser. You can see here, browser history, extension data, pin tabs, site permissions, and all that stuff has been removed. Okay, but you will need to make sure uh, that you do a thorough scan with malware bytes and other software. Another thing we're going to do here is go into control panel here and then we'll go into security and maintenance. Inside here, you want to go to change user account control. Now, if you've been on some other YouTube channels, they may tell you to turn this feature off, but this user account control settings is here to protect you. It's there to stop you from falling foul to uh, malicious software installations and also dodgy websites. You can see the top setting here is the most aggressive. You can see recommended if you routinely install new software and visit unfamiliar websites. This is what this is geared up for. Now, if you turn this off, it will take away all of those notifications and pop-up boxes, and you just go ahead and it will install that software. And this is how you can run into trouble. So you might want to drop it down to this one here if you're a little bit more familiar with that stuff. Uh, but if you're not, then put it on the very top setting. Another thing you can do is also go into uh, your update and security and then pop into your Windows security. Now, if you're using Windows Defender, you will need to do a full scan of your system. This is essential. Make sure that you've got all the green ticks lit up here. And this means you've got no problems with your system and it's set up exactly how it should be. Now, of course, if you want to do a quick scan, you could just do a quick scan here and let that run. You can also do a full scan of your system to make sure you've got no other sort of malware or other malicious applications installed on the system. This is essential to make sure that you don't end up uh, falling foul to uh, malware and other malicious types of uh, programs that could have been installed on your system. Now, of course, you can do a quick scan or a full scan or a custom scan, whatever floats your boat. But basically, as long as you do a scan, you should be OK. So go back. And we're also going to do one more check here on some of the other settings here. So you can see here, control folder access. This is if you want to use Windows Defender as a sort of anti-ransomware protection. You can see here it's going to protect these folders. You can add in other protected folders if you wish, and it will stop ransomware from encrypting those areas. And this is another way of keeping yourself safe. Now, of course, we are just talking about uh, the 
Windows stop messages, these tech support scammers, they're nowhere near advanced as ransomware, but you just never know what you can stumble upon on the internet. So it's always best to stay protected. Now, when you download files like these ones off the internet, they'll go into the downloads folder. These are executable files. You can right click and scan these before you open them or before you click on them. And that's most important. A lot of people always download stuff from unsavory sites and end up getting infected. And this is how infections get onto the system. You can see Virus Total is a great site for uploading files and also checking URLs and websites. You can upload a file to here and this will normally tell you whether the file is infected or not with a malicious code or some sort of malware or Trojan or whatever it is that it's infected with. So anytime you go to install software, if you're not familiar with it, you can upload it. Now you may see the odd um, one pop up here and this one is CCleaner, believe it or not, and it's been detected by Viper as a some sort of Trojan. And of course you can see the other ones are all clean and it's undetected. So use your common sense. If you're downloading from reputable sites and you want to check them, check them before you install them. Because once you click on the executable and it installs, it's too late. If it's ransomware, it's going to encrypt all your data. Another thing you can use is a free firewall. Windows does have its own firewall, but it just lets stuff uh, run and access the internet and come on into your computer. Whereas Zone Alarm free firewall is a little bit more advanced and it might not be for the beginner or the novice user. You might want to get a bit more experience first, but what this does is actually controls what's going out and what's coming into your computer. It'll also monitor when you're running programs, what that program is trying to do and whether it's trying to install something. It can monitor all that and it does have ransomware protection here. You can see here we've got green ticks on the outbound traffic and inbound uh, traffic as well. And if you want to block stuff, you can block it like this and it will stop that from accessing the internet. It will also, as you get files coming in uh, from the internet, when you start to uh, download files off the internet and run them, it will ask permission of what to do. And this is basically where you can say, no, I don't want to do that. And you can block it straight away and it won't install. I've done malware tests with Zone Alarm and also it's completely blocked everything from coming into the computer by me just saying no and it blocked everything and that's exactly what it's for. It's there to protect you. Another thing you can do is run malware bytes to make sure the system is running clean from malware. You can buy the real-time protection premium version if you wish. It's pretty affordable and it does stop a lot of stuff from getting onto the system and it also protects you when you're browsing the internet and other things like that as well. You can also download other programs if you don't want to use Windows Defender. There's Bitdefender free. Now there's a big debate whether you should buy premium uh, paid antivirus software or free antivirus software. Personally, I don't see any difference between the two apart from features, support and other bits and pieces. You can see here we've got emails as well. This is another common area which can cause problems when people get random emails from people. Christmas is a busy time. They're expecting parcels and you can see UPS here has tried to deliver a parcel. I can tell you right now this is not UPS. It's probably some sort of ransomware. One of them's from Russia there I can see and a bunch of other countries. So be very, very careful when you see uh, emails like this and they can sometimes be a bit more fancier than this. This one's a bit plain Jane, but as you can see, it's got an attachment and what they want me to do is click on this and open it and run it and get infected. Now the most important thing is backing up your data. Make sure you back up your data on a regular basis. I use a Cronus Drew Image. It's a very good piece of software for backing up data in all sorts of devices. You can also get protection from ransomware with it as well, which is really awesome and it will protect all your data. So if anything does go wrong, you can always revert back and put all your system back to the time when it was working properly without any loss of data. So what is the best form of protection? The best form of protection is yourself by not clicking on things and understanding the potential risks of you clicking on a file that you've downloaded off the internet do you trust that file? Where did you get it from? Can you trust the person that's give it to you? These sort of things are essential to keeping your data safe. Make sure you've got backups, 
make sure you understand what you're doing if you're falling for uh, scams like you see at the beginning of the video then you need to educate yourself quite a bit because that means you're vulnerable to a lot of different uh, uh, vulnerabilities out there on the internet scams and other sorts of scams that are going in emails and other things like that anyway this topic can run and run so i'm going to end it here my name is ben brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you need any more help or advice pop on our discord bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.